I'm leaning the mixture right now. This is a lean mixture. I went too far on the adjustment and the RPM dropped to 800. So what I'm gonna do is back out uh, half a turn. That is roughly where I wanna be. I can go in a little bit more. That's 21 and a half, almost 22. Go back. And that it doesn't like, that's 21 now. So, she wants to be about here. Also, this is on the lean side. If I go onto the reach side, giving it fuel just keep adjusting it I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the rich side so if I go screw it back in right now so let's stop doing that and I get the again the maximum vacuum which is here. So this is, I adjust it from the reach side to the maximum vacuum. I prefer to be on the lean side, on the, typically it's the lean side. So you don't go reach and go back. You go lean and then you reach it up a little bit. This ensures that you don't foul your spot like too much. There you go. Okay, so I adjusted for maximum. I went to the lean side, screwed it in the mixture, and then I, when I got to the rough idling, I went back out. You don't need the vacuum gauge to do it because you can hear the engine struggling, right? And it's right now at about 900 RPM because that's the idle setting for this uh, engine. Uh, could be less, could be more, it depends. On this car, there's a little thing in there that says how much you should be idling at. 900. You can do 750, you'll do 750 if you want. It's up to you. The other part you can actually test. Uh, I've been having problems with the idle uh, jet, because there's an idle jet for this carburetor. Is the transition and jetting. And you can actually test if your stuff is, if your jets is okay, if your transition idle jet is fine, also about the vacuum gauge. What you do is you observe the vacuum as you slowly increase the RPM. As you can see, it went to 20 inches, which is still not correct, but it's better than before. It, because of the emulsion tube I put in here, it needed a little extra adjustment. And I finally figured it out. So that's 1500 RPM, and I get 21. That's 2000. I don't think you can see the fuel flow in this thing and yeah you won't be able to it's too dark so at the end of the day it needed 
65. It even probably needs a 70 idle jet. Let me kill it for now so I can explain in a detail. Ah, be quiet. All right. So basically, um, the reason for the vacuum is because it just shows you how much effort it takes for the engine to do its thing. So 21 is already like a preset vacuum level, right? So that's the number that this engine wants to run at, once adjusted properly. And this actually sounds about right. Also my Winnebago RV does the same thing. My Challenger probably will be the same if I, if I plug this in. Uh, depends on the camshaft and some other bullshit, but in most cases, 21. So when you start driving up, the, if the mixture changes dramatically uh, as you rev up slowly, which means you're going through the motions of the carburetor, your vacuum will just do crazy shit. Like if it's too lean, which was a while back, it would drop all the way to 15 before the main jet would take over where it's enough airflow and then we'll just drop back down to 21 so I had the stumbling in the transition of this thing uh, so yeah and there's two of them so there's I'm just playing with that idle but I'm probably gonna change the uh, the transition for the secondaries as well just because this device comes in very handy because it gives you RPMs also does the Advanced, uh, advanced degree of the of the distributor, but only works on the um, points, and this doesn't have points anymore. So it has a voltmeter and other stuff. Don't make this stuff anymore. Um, so yeah, there you go. So it's adjusted to its best vacuum. The transition circuit now works okay-ish, and uh, <laughs> let's see if it exploded in the next race again or not. Hopefully not. This is, uh, I'm putting a lot of effort into making this thing run the way it's supposed to run. So there you go. Um.